An employer can end an at-will employment contract at any time for any reason, which pretty severely limits employees' rights to sue for wrongful discharge. But that doesn't mean a fired employee has no recourse at all, as we see in Fortune v. National Cash Register Company. Orville Fortune worked as a salesman for the National Cash Register Company, or NCR. Under his employment contract, he received a salary plus bonuses for sales made within his territory, with percentages depending on whether the territory was assigned to him at date of order, delivery, or both. His entitlement to a bonus would terminate if the order didn't ship within 18 months unless he was still assigned to the territory. This contract was terminable at will by either party at any time. For the previous six years, Fortune's territory had included the lucrative First National Stores account. In 1968, Fortune got to work persuading First National to buy a new cash register model. At the end of November, First National signed an order for 2,000 cash registers at a price of about $5 million. Fortune's bonus was supposed to be more than $90,000. After the holidays, however, Fortune turned up at work to find a termination notice on his desk. It was dated December 2nd of the previous year, which happened to be the business day after the sale with First National had been closed. Fortune's manager told him he was through, but then reconsidered and kept him on as sales support to coordinate the deliveries to First National. Over the next months, NCR paid Fortune some of the bonus due him, but when he asked the manager about the rest, the manager told him to forget about it. Fortune was 61 and had a son in college, so he let the matter rest. Eighteen months after the First National order went through, NCR fired Fortune. It refused to pay him any more bonus payments on machines delivered to First National. Fortune sued NCR for breach of contract. The trial court found for Fortune, but the Court of Appeals reversed. Fortune appealed to the Supreme Judicial Court of Massachusetts. 